Buying gold bars. There's a lot to it, but there is also not a lot to it. Once you find out the beauty of investing in precious metals and having it in part of your investment portfolio, it's very hard to try and justify not buying gold bullion. So here in front of me, I've got a selection of gold bars all the way up from 100 grams to 50 grams, 10 grams, 5 grams and 1 grams. A very good selection of gold bullion, some that may interest newer investors and some that may interest more wealthy, more seasoned stackers in the precious metals community. Now, gold bullion in general, we know it's one of the best wealth preservation devices to look after your fiat money. It's also a form of savings account. Instead of putting it into just a standard ISA account with your high street bank, you're going to get next to no interest and you are going to lose out to inflation. You can store your capital in the yellow metal, which will help preserve that wealth and hedge against inflation. But the question lies... Why should you buy gold bars over coins? Are there benefits? Are there negatives? Well, in this episode, I'm going to break that down and go through some of those for you. If you're watching this far into the video, consider sticking around till the end of the episode because there's some bonus clips that I think you'll want to see. So starting off in a simple nutshell, gold bars are actually cheaper than coins. Now the reason for this is because gold coins tend to have higher minting costs, which leaves them to have higher premiums upon the sale from bullion dealers, leaving in a result gold bars to actually be slightly cheaper than gold coins. Having said that, there is a negative to gold bars, and that is the fact that gold bars are not capital gains tax exempt. Now, most of you will already understand what that is, but for the sake of transparency for any new investors watching this video, capital gains tax is a tax made on any gains on your investment. Now, there is a threshold limit when it comes to capital gains tax in most global countries. In the UK, it's a few thousand pounds as of right now, but it is periodically, year by year, getting lower and lower. So what does that mean for your investment in gold bars? Well, it means if you're buying valuable precious metals like this that are a smaller weight in bullion, for example, one gram, like this one gram pamp gold bar, or this one gram royal mint gold bar, even these five gram gold bars, or this 10 gram Herius gold bar, you will not pay any capital gains tax. But if you're buying something larger, like this 50 gram pamp gold bar, you will be paying capital gains tax because that is over the threshold limit in the United Kingdom. Now, you could say, well, if these smaller bars are not going to be charging me capital gains tax because they're well below the tax threshold limit, then why should I worry? That's a very good question. But in my opinion, I do see gold bullion increasing quite a lot over the next two to three decades. And who knows, the value of these particular lower bars could actually come into contact with the capital gains tax threshold limit that the United Kingdom or the United States has, for example, especially considering that the governments consistently lower the threshold limit for the capital gains tax. Now, something else to mention about gold bars is a lot of people get caught up on the packaging and the premiums. Now, starting off with the packaging, it is a very important thing, in my opinion, because the packaging represents the bullion dealer that minted the particular bar. For example, I've got mostly PAMP, the Royal Mint bars. So, for example, here I've mostly got PAMP and the Royal Mint, clearly the most real respected and globally renowned mints in the entire world. That then means when you come to liquidate your precious metal, because they are in such a well-renowned packaging from a well-renowned mint, it should be easier to authenticate your precious metal and therefore easier to sell. Having said that, here I've got a Herius gold bar. Now, Herius is one of the more cheaper bullion dealers because it's not so renowned. They're not trying to be so prestigious. They're trying to keep their premiums and their minting costs down by keeping the packaging and the designs down. And that's great for people who aren't interested in buying more renowned items. People who are just trying to stack weight value would probably tend to go more for items like that. But I think an important point to remember is gold will always only be worth its own weight in value. So it's important to try and not get too caught up in the particular item you're buying, be it the Royal Mint, PAMP, 
or even Herius. Because at the end of the day, an investor, a bullion dealer, a coin dealer, a jewelry shop, or even a mint who's going to be buying back your precious metals when you come to liquidate them, won't particularly be interested in the packaging per se, but they'll be interested in the bullion item itself. So although the packaging does have a scaling factor to how important your purchase is, it's not the be all and end all. Now, gold in general, we know is a fantastic investment. Earlier on in the video, I mentioned it's one of the best wealth preservation devices. And to prove that point, in the last 10 years, gold has increased by 103%. So it proves once again to be a very good investment. Having said that, I did speak about this recently in the charity auction with the Stack Collector and Cobra Stacker. History is no guarantee of the future. You can use the history to try and predict the future, but it's no guarantee of that going forward. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. Now, owning these gold bars would be a great investment to your portfolio because it creates a balanced portfolio, which allows you to have a safe investment. So you can have other investments, maybe property, crypto, or index funds, slightly higher risk investments to do a different sort of investment for you. And that gold investment allows you to have a store of wealth in a very low risk, safe investment. So gold in general is a fantastic investment to have as a balanced diversification in your portfolio. Now, something big to mention is that PAMP bars, which I've got many of here, can tend to be faked regularly. In my opinion, from experience of stacking for around four years, I have seen that PAMP bars are the most fraudulent made bars. So it's something to be wary of when buying gold and silver bullion because there is fake mints out there. And unfortunately, from my experience, it tends to be PAMP that has one of the most fraudulent amount of pieces out there. But to cover that and protect yourself, I would recommend if you're worried about that, you can buy direct from bullion dealers, which guarantees 100% authenticity. But please bear in mind that you will be paying slightly more premiums instead of going to somewhere like the Silver Forum, eBay or buying secondhand, where you can get it slightly cheaper. But there is the risk of buying possible fake bullion, although I think the chances of that are realistically quite low. Now, going down to the prices, some of you will be wondering, well, maybe I want to buy a one gram gold bar or maybe I want to buy a 50 gram gold bar. How much are they? Well, I've worked that out. So let's go through and have a little breakdown of how much these gold bars will set you back as of 2023. So first of all, we've got this one gram gold bar from Pamp. This will set you back around £78 for this tiny piece of precious metal. You would think that's quite a lot of money for such a small item, and it's not wrong. It goes to show how the value of gold bullion is really, really strong around the world. So for a one gram gold bar like this, it's going to be costing you around £78. Having said that, you can buy much cheaper one gram gold bars. For example, Tavex Bullion sell their own one gram gold bar for about £56. So that goes to show you the differences between premiums regarding the packaging and the mint. Moving on, we've got a Royal Mint 5 gram gold bar. If you're looking to buy this, you can pick one up from the Royal Mint or secondhand. It's going to be costing you around 300 to 320 pound. Not small pocket change for sure. Although I would say it's still low enough to consider it a liquid investment. You're not locking away too much capital and uh, you're getting a very nice uh, wealth uh, preservation in the amount of £320 stored in this asset. Again, prices can vary if you're buying a well-respected mint or something like Herius that is popular but isn't quite as well known. Moving on to the 10 gram bar from Herius. This is a bar that I would recommend for someone looking to stack who purely wants to stack for weight value and isn't interested in stacking for those renowned mints and stuff like that. This particular 10 gram 24 carat gold bar is going to set you back a surprising £605. So now you can see we're starting to get in the higher levels of money. I think that's fair to say that's no pocket change. So if you're looking to store a larger amount of wealth, this would potentially be a good investment for you. But bear in mind, you are locking away a larger amount of capital into an investment which you can't liquidate individually. If you wanted to get your money back, you would have to sell the whole precious metal. Now, moving on to this 50 gram gold bar, which I've got from Tavix Bullion. 
created by PAMP is a beautiful piece. Not many people will own a 50 gram gold bar, but I can tell you why it would be a good investment. When it comes to investing in precious metals, it tends to be that the bigger weight of precious metal you invest, the more you get for your money. And that goes without saying. In life in general, if you buy in bulk, you tend to get more for your money. And that's the same with precious metals. So by buying a bigger bar like this, 50 grams, you're getting a much better value per gram of gold bullion than you would be, say, buying a one gram gold bar over here. Now, this 50 gram gold bar as of October 2023 will set you back £2,732. So a, a large amount of money that is fantastic for preserving and storing your wealth. But bear in mind, at this level of investment, you are on the verge of having to pay capital gains tax when you want to liquidate this. And no way in the future will you not be able to uh, pay capital gains tax on that. The only way would be if you was to sell privately to a friend or someone like that where you can avoid capital gains tax. But bear in mind, you do need to pay capital gains tax on any legal sale. And moving on, finally, we've got this 100 gram gold bar from the Royal Mint. Let's remove the seal to give you a really good look of how this precious metal piece looks. Wow, an absolutely stunning bar that is well worth having in your precious metal stack. Now, if you want to invest in this 100 gram gold bar, it's gonna be looking at around 110 pounds to buy this 100 gram silver bar. Again, a very nice investment, but bear in mind, you will have to pay capital gains tax on this once it becomes um, over the capital gains tax threshold limit. So something to bear in mind, but a beautiful piece that I think is a very wise investment, especially from the Royal Mint. So overall, that is my breakdown on five gram gold bars and why you should buy them or why you shouldn't buy them. A bit of a beginner's guide, but also a bit of a refresher for some of you seasoned stackers out there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching all the way till the very end. I really appreciate your valuable time. A big shout out to the channel members. Thank you for being premium future investors. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Well, thank you so much for watching till the end of the episode. I really appreciate your valuable time. I thought I'd come outside and give you a look on this 50 gram gold bar in natural daylight to show how it really looks in the reflection of daylight and sunlight. It really proves to be the yellow metal that gold bullion tends to be. It just blows my mind. Look at the reflection on that absolutely stunning this piece was sent to me from tavex bullion and i really appreciate it because it's not every day you get to view bullion pieces like this and moving on i've got this 100 gram gold bar from the royal mint which was borrowed to me by a family member so thank you very much for that it's beautiful to see in natural daylight the thickness of it is pretty amazing it reminds me of my one kilogram silver britannia a very substantial precious metal that I think is a very wise investment, especially from the Royal Mint. Thank you very much for watching till the end. I appreciate your support, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all in the very next episode. Bye-bye.